but uh, this is about everything that we own. We have, there's five or six pair that I left at home that are crystal or nondescript or something. But anyway, I didn't bring them. In fact, I didn't have room. <laughs> so uh, once in a while, I'll have my lovely wife, Reva, come up and uh, pick out something. But <laughs> I got this stick in case she doesn't move fast enough. <laughs> So, anyway, hopefully we'll all learn a little bit about them today and we'll see how everything goes. So um, what I'm going to start out with, I tried to put them, uh, different makers, together as I went down. And uh, I won't go into all the detail about them. I'll go into a lot of it. If anybody's got questions, they can ask. So we start out with the Fenton and uh, a, a lot of the Fentons, they made these fl uh, Florentines. There's a ten and a half inch in the different colors. They also made them in red. I don't have a red, red pair. I have had red. And uh, they made them uh, in the short ones. They're also Florentines. They're eight and a half inch. Same colors, just different heights. Uh, the, they also made them the, with the Florentines. They called them cut ovals. I only have two pair of those. I have a marigold and a green. They made those also in all these colors, cut ovals, and red. I understand there's a collector in California has just about all of these cut ovals in every size, the two sizes. As far as I know, that's the only two sizes they've ever made them in. And uh, going on further, these are the Fenton's 549s down here. I don't have them in three colors, but they made those in the same colors. Also, this is these up here. Uh, and they also made some that have what they call the, the black foot on them, the black bottom. And uh, they made them in Vaseline and uh, uh, blue. I, ha I had a blue pair at one time. But uh, these were made in, uh, like I say, the same colors as all the rest of them. Uh, and they made them also, these are 549s, they made them in 649s, which are two inches taller, and they made them in 749s, which is two inches taller than that. So they made them in 8, 10s, and 12s. The taller ones are harder to find. These are fairly common. You can find them uh, a lot of different places in most of the colors, except the, the reds are always the toughest. Uh, and then down here at the bottom, these are the little 249s, the portlies. I have them in four colors here. They made those in the same colors, and the red is probably the hardest find of these two. I don't. I had an amethyst pair, but I sold them, so I don't have them anymore. And uh, these on the bottom are the uh, the short ones. I don't have very many short candlesticks. I prefer the taller ones. Uh, these are tangerine opal. They're the three sixteens. These ice green. I think they're three fourteens, and they also made them in the three eighteens. They're all just a little bit difference in height. And this is a blue opal one that we have a, a, a little uh, set in our bedroom. It's uh, got a powder jar, I think, and a, and a rose bowl and a couple of candlesticks. But that is uh, what I have in the Fenton, and they're fairly common and fairly easy to find, except the cut ovals are harder to get, and the reds. Now we'll go on to the Northwoods, and I bought some that are not carnival. But they are the Northwood candlesticks, and they made them in carnival in certain colors. But these are Chinese coral. These are ivory. And of course, Chinese coral, a jade blue. And uh, this is uh, the russet green and the celeste blue. And those are the, uh, I got the number down here, uh, the 657s are the tall trumpets, they call them. And I also have them in the colors, they are the short trumpets, they're the 658s. They, I have those in about the same colors, and uh, they're, the ivory's hard to find. Uh, most of the others are, are fairly plentiful, you can find them, but uh, there's not a lot of them, but you can, you can find them. Uh, I didn't have any of them, that, now they call these, they look like the Florentines, but they're, the, uh, Northwood calls them colonials. And the difference in them, Reva, would you come down here? 
please. These have, hold this up, they, these have a little knob right there. It's round like a donut. Now if you want to get one of these Fenton ones, hold it up. The Fenton ones, they're sloped. They have a slope there, right there that slopes down and doesn't, that's the difference in them. The only difference that I know of. And that's, uh, but I bought the, these Colonials. Uh, this is an amber one, it's not iridized. It, Bill Crowell told me that they're fairly rare, fairly hard to find. It's called Rosita Amber and the jade blue and jade green and the russet and the Chinese coral. Uh, and then I bought a little red contemporary because I didn't have any grape and cable but they made those in the, the blues and the greens and the amethyst along with they used them for candle lamps. So I did bring a green example. Also down here at the bottom these uh, are short trumpets. They're made by Northwood. They made those in the same colors of Vaseline, the green, and jade blue, and the Chinese coral. But uh, they're, they are uh, fairly common. Uh, you, can get, you can pick those up. In fact, I think what I did here, I made a mistake. I think I've got the wrong one down there. I've got one down there, and I think this one goes down there, Reva. Would you replace those? I think that one goes down here, and that one is because of the height in them. No, that one's taller too. <laughs> well, doesn't make any difference. <laughs> okay, well, another glass company made them and they are really similar. Uh, and these are also uh, Northwoods. They call those spindles. Uh, they have a number, let me see here. 708, called the 708, number 708 spindles. Uh, they come in different colors also. Uh, I don't have, uh, this is a carnival, but the other one is uh, Chinese coral. Uh, but they come in uh, the green, I think. I haven't seen them in uh, too many, maybe marigold. I haven't seen them in a lot of colors, the spindle ones. But uh, they, uh, they're out, they're not as plentiful as some of the others. They're harder, a little harder to find. Uh, that's about all of the Northwood I guess I have. Takes care of that. Uh, we're going to the Imperial. No, I have a Northwood up here. This is a, a tall square one that uh, they're the 651s. They made those also in jade blue, russet green, and Vaseline that I know of. Uh, they're fairly hard to find. Blue is the easiest to find, but they're hard to find, the swear ones. Uh, now the Imperial is the next. Uh, I had, uh, I got a lot of the double scrolls, but I only have three iridized, red, marigold, and teal. And But I have them in other colors, because I like the pattern. And I bought these, these green ones, it's got on them, Illinois State Fair 1929. I bought a pair of those uh, close to a little town of Arcola, Illinois. And I'll tell you a little story. There was a guy at the sale. There was a big sale and there was a guy from Indiana there. And I think they called him Big Jim. I think it was, it was big something, but I think it was Big Jim. Anyway, we got to talking about stuff. He was a big guy. But anyway, we talked about these candlesticks. And he says, you interested in them? I said, oh yeah, I'd like to have them. But I live in Illinois in the state fair. So he says, well, he said, I probably won't bid against you on them. He said, I'll probably let you have them. I said, okay, thanks. appreciate that. Now, I don't mind a guy if he bids against me or not, but when he tells me, he's not going to. <laughs> so I got him for, I had to bid for about 60 bucks, and then Big Jim says he decided he wanted them. <laughs> so $125 is what I ought to got them for. So that's, there's a lesson there. Don't trust people from Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, and I also bought a pair of pink ones, and they were an anniversary pair. I think it has Rena and Clifford on them, and it's 1930. So that's why I bought those. But the double scrolls are coming on uh, a lot of different colors and patterns. Uh, I had a white pair one time, and we sold them at an auction in 
2007. And white is really hard to find. I've only seen three or four pair, but I had I bought them when I was going to Wichita to the Air Capital Convention, and I stopped in a little town of Deerfield, Missouri. And this lady had an antique shop, and she had a pair of white ones. And she, of course, she had some other stuff. She had a master grape and cable bowl. But anyway, she, I bought them there, and uh, I gave hundred dollars for them, and we had our sale. They sold for nine hundred. Bob Grissom should have bid one more time. He might have took them home. <laughs> you remember those, don't you, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> uh, also in the uh, Imperial, uh, we have the uh, Chesterfields here. Uh, they come in two sizes. I have one down here. And they also come in smoke. And they come in the bigger size in smoke also. They come in red. I had a nice red pair one time, but we wanted to buy a house, so they went to the sale, along with the white ones. Uh, these are called Delta Base, and also have those in Marigold and uh, Short and the Tall. They come in two sizes. Uh, and they come in the different colors, uh, smoke and uh, not much more than smoke and Marigold, I guess. Uh, and then uh, the flute and cane. Uh, these are not mine. This is one of the pairs in here that's not mine. They belong to Ed Kramer. A little story behind those. I, had, I bought the first one and had it for 10 years and couldn't find another one. So a friend of mine came and he called me up and he says, uh, uh, there's one on eBay. So he said he'd bid on it for me. So I bid, I think I gave him my high bid of, three hundred dollars or something but it, I got it for like a hundred and forty so and it looked like a perfect match till I got it but it's still it's still there and you don't have, I've never seen another pair of marigold ones but anyway I talked to Ed Kramer and I was going this was another air capital trip so we stopped on the south edge of Kansas City to meet Ed at a gas station he was going to gas it was got up and gas it, he was only up the road a couple miles so we pulled in the station about the same time but while I was gassing up, I took a box. I, I traded him six pair of candlesticks for a pair of these nice green cut ovals. And that was, but anyway, we made the switch right there at the gas station. <laughs> On the road we went. <laughs> and Ed was happy and I was happy, so everything worked out fine. But uh, Ed got these reasonable and I got those very reasonable, so it kind of worked out for both of us. We, and the other pair that I traded him, uh, uh, I think I got these cheaper than what I would have had to pay for them otherwise. But Ed got a nice pair too. Uh, sometimes you wish he had something back, and those are nice ones. But I got another attached to that one. I had it for so long. Uh, and I, own them, I also have them in uh, these here. And those also come in smoke. I've seen one smoke pair. Lance Hill Keen out east has one pair. I see pictures of it. I've never seen them, but they really look nice. So, they, so those are rare candlesticks. Uh, down here are the six-sided. I got a pair of marigolds, so I brought one. I have set and clear, and I had one in chocolate glass, chocolate swirl. So I brought those along for examples, but they made the those in purple and green, and uh, they made a rare set in amber that sold for about 2,500 a few years ago probably the rarest set of these. One of the rarest sets there is, is the Amber Six Sided. Uh, I think that's about, it. no, this one here is a uh, also made by uh, Imperial. And we found that in our uh, candlestick books. No, it doesn't even say, we did see it in the book, but it doesn't give it, I don't think it gave anything about the, what they call it, but it looks similar to the Delta Base. Uh, but it's just green, but I think it glows. It was a Depression era glass. It's just one that we bought that we found the set of them and uh, it just fit in with the Imperial stuff. And this little one here with the hobnail, uh, Vaseline, Opal, uh, it's Imperial. Uh, these also are not mine. Uh, but uh, Guy Mitchell Stewart had these. 
and he asked if I'd like to have them down there. I said, sure, bring them down. I said, because I don't have any. And uh, These are called Madrid, and they're made by Federal Glass Company, which I didn't know. But uh, he brought them down, and they are here in the sale. I did, I forgot to mention this a while ago. This was a little chamber stick that uh, Northwood also made. Uh, they're fairly hard to find, the chamber sticks, all of them. They made them in different colors. They made them in the jade blue also. And uh, I don't know if they made them in other colors or not, because I haven't seen any other colors. Uh, these here are little chamber sticks. And amber, they're not iridized, made by Anchor Hawking. We found those in the candlestick book. Thought they were a nice pair and I like amber, so I picked those up. These little one, dolphins here, I've got those down here. Well, I'll, I'll come back to these because I've got some other glass down there that goes with these. I think this was Tiffin. I also bought these in Deerfield, Missouri. They are in the th from the 30s. But I bought those night lady in Deerfield, Missouri for about 50 or 60 bucks. You don't have any cat hair on it though. <laughs> no. But uh, anyway, that pretty much takes care of this end down here. Uh, I'll touch on a little bit here. Uh, these are plum opal. They're the, uh, made uh, for Fenton, uh, made them for the Hoga. They're, uh, they made them in aqua opal one year and they made them in uh, plum opal. These are the only plum opal and aqua opal ones that I've ever seen. I mean, that, ever, that they ever made. They never made any of them in old that I know of. They only made them in new. As far as I know, there's no old ones in that color that I know of. I went, I did I go over these as imperial here? They, uh, these these are called number 700s. They're in smoke and marigold. It only covers the colors I know they were made them in. They're number 700s. Uh, they don't have it. That's the only name they had. Uh, just give it a number. Uh, this is a smoke swirl base and a regular smoke and then Vaseline and, and marigold. This is not iridized. I don't think they ever iridized any of them in Vaseline. These I bought last year in Ohio at the WWCGA from Jack Targonski. Uh, Jack said he thought they were loats, and I said, well, I didn't think they were, but I didn't know, and we checked around, and Jack was right. They are loats. I got on the internet check. They have a little stamp on the bottom, made in Czechoslovakia, and they started the stamp in 1920. Before that, they signed them in script. So they are loats. And, uh, they got, we've got some in Carmel similar to those. It's got five bubbles, these have got six. So they're a little different. I've never seen another pair just like them. Jack parted with them very, uh, very uh, favorably. I mean, the price was right. That's the only pair of loads that I have. Now, the next ones that I have up here, the U.S. glass. They call these twist bell bottoms. Uh, these two co these colors are, I think they made them in another color, I think that color it was. White, white. I believe that's the only other one. Um, these uh, next ones are uh, three tens, number three tens. It's, this is Vaseline, not iridized. I don't know. I don't think they ir or they don't. They didn't iridize them in Vaseline that I know of. They made them in blue, and this and they made them in. Uh, this is a kind of old pack, yellow. Uh, they made them in a couple of other colors. Uh, I've got to write it down. The other ones I had, uh, but I've had some other colors. They made them in green also. I know they made them in green, like a jade green, like this color here. And I'm not sure of another color that they made those in. And these are also made by U.S. Glass. They're spindles. They're not iridized. Uh, made in the 30s. And they also made these uh, in blue and white and Vaseline. Those are uh, 
They have the number. Those are the 151s. They made those in Vaseline also. I think that might be all the colors. They made those in three. So, I'll go up here at the top. These are Venom. Uh, they're four teens. They look just like Fenton. Almost exactly like Fenton. They're amber, they're iridized. I've never seen another pair of amber iridized candlesticks. The difference between these and the Fenton ones, these are a three-part mold. Fenton is only a two-part mold. So that's the difference in those candlesticks, but and, and then the amber, I've never seen any iridized amber candlesticks. I've heard of the, the Florentine one in Canada, Tim Rayburn is supposed to have it. It's a Florentine that's iridized, amber. I haven't seen it, but I've been told it's there. This is also a Vinland, three bar mode. Their blues weren't very good. This is another blue one of theirs with short trumpets. And this, purple one, short trumpet. Their colors just kind of washed out. They weren't very good. Uh, but they made us some odd, they were just odd colors. But those are the only ones I have in Vinland. Uh, these are Westmoreland. Uh, I bought these. This one is lightly iridized. It's crackle. It has gold trim around the bottom. I had a Westmoreland dealer from Kansas City who would buy that off of me one time, but I would sell. And this one is the same pattern. It's a 1042, but it's it's got it's it's wheel cut and it has flowers, etchings, and, uh, in it. So uh, I bought it in its hammer and I liked it. And these are two uh, Florentines. This is a kind of a odd yellow, and this is a it's called steel blue. They also made this in a light red. Reba, you want to get one of those down? The reason, the way you can tell those difference from the Florentines or Fens, the base is solid on the bottom. The Florentines are hollow. That's how you tell the difference between the West Mormons and the Fens. They're heavier. But I, I learned some of this stuff from Dave Shetlar. He's the one that told me about that several years ago. He said, that's, because I asked him about it, and he said, no, nah, that's Westmore. He knew right away. So he was a good help to me with a lot of stuff. He's the one that told me also about the three-part mode with the vine and them. So other people can really help you a lot on stuff. And, you know, they can, you just ask them, and they'll, if they know, they'll tell you. If they don't know, they'll tell you. They don't know, because it's, so it should be. But anyway, Dave did help me a lot. You and Renee. Uh, these, these here are all Jeanette glass. This row right here. Uh, these, uh, this one here is called Crackle. Uh, this one here has a number, number 5132. This one is called 12 Rings. That one is called Twist. That one is called Tree Bark. And the last one is uh, 5201 Trumpet. These are all genetic lights. All of Marigold, I don't think they made them in anything. They might, that's the only colors I think they ever made them in. And, their, some of their glass wasn't as well iridized as some of the other. Yeah, the Tiffin glass, I'll go ahead and tell about the Tiffin glass because these here were Tiffin, as I mentioned a while ago, a little short dolphin candlesticks. I bought these three sets of Tiffin down at Mickey Rituals function about, I don't know, six months ago or whatever. He had about 10 pair of different colors, Tiffin black and different shades of red and green. And I bought a red pair and a blue pair and a green pair which just called Twist. But they're Tiffin Glass Company. They're not iridized, but I bought them because we have some other Twist candlesticks and it was kind of like a pattern. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, now we go to Cambridge. The only Cambridge this here is uh, Invert Strawberry. They made that in uh, uh, Amethyst, and Green, and Marigold, I think. And uh, it's the only pair I have now. I've had uh, uh, Marigolds before. One of the best pair of Marigolds I've ever seen sell was at Ruth Phillips sale last year. Super pair. It went for like $700. And this crucifix candlestick is also made by Cambridge. I just bought the, I got a pair of those, so I bought that example because I don't have any marigolds anymore. I sold them all. He's had three pairs in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> but they also made these, and these, besides marigold, they made them in a very rare smoke. I saw those and went to pictures of them. I pictured them. Tom Burns sold them to a guy who bought $3,500. One had a bad chip on the back of the cross. It was a chip too. It wasn't a flea bite. Jim would have called it a flea bite, but it was a chip. <laughs> <laughs> now, it was a good size. <clears throat> but uh, the other candles, the other crucifix is in the book. There were about 20 companies that made crucifix candlesticks. They made them in all different colors. Red and green and uh, blue and uh, crystal, but they didn't iridize them. No one's iridized was by Imperial. But this was in the book also. 11 and a quarter inches high. He described it perfectly and everything else and says, they are unknown. So I don't know who made that. But I do have the book and it shows it and everything else, but they didn't know who made it. Uh, uh, now we go down here, there's a diamond glass company. A lot of people say Dugan Diamond, but Diamond's the one that made them. Dugan didn't make them. These are called Blue Crackle. That's the color. I bought these at a stretch, gas, stretch glass sale in Indianapolis. Dave Rene Shetler was there, Bill Crowell was there, and uh, Tom Smith was there. And when they sold them, they, Tom said there was only one other pair he knew of. Dave Shetler said there was two or three other pair he knew of. Well, after I bought them, about a year later, I found out that Roy Heger's got a pair of them. I found out that Gary Lickler's got a pair of them. So I think there's a few pair, but there's maybe five. Those are rare cast things. And they're pretty blue. They also made those in purple. They looked like art glass. I had a pair one time. They went to our sale also. But they were really, they were really nice for purple. But, uh, I don't know if they made the, they, there's a shape, they made them, I guess, in this shape, uh, in red, and there's one down here in blue, but uh, these are, the blue and the purple are really, the, they're hard to find, both of them. And this is called Columns, this is made by Duke, and they made these in ice green also, that I know of. Uh, I've seen them in ice green, ice blue, and that's all. These are spindles, uh, green and blue. Uh, they made those in marigold, I think, and uh, I'm not sure of another color. I've, I've never seen another color. But uh, that's the stuff that I have, I guess, for Dugan, or for diamond. All the, all the candlestick pieces are also diamond. They made these in two sizes. Here's a, here's a tall green one, and here's a short blue one, but they made them tall and short in both colors. And this is a different one because it's got ribs on it. Also made by Dugan. But uh, they only made them in two colors that I know of, and they're two sizes that I know of. But I'm sure there's some oddball sizes in there because they're blown and they wouldn't be, like one might not be exactly eight inches or six inches or whatever. But uh, uh, that's that's the only thing in the rest of those, I guess. No, I one more. That Adam's rib. This is called Adam's rib. It's amber. Uh, it was made with diamond. It's not iridized, but it was. I like that. Like I say, I like that <coughs> six, and I like that one. So I I bought that pair. They were really reasonable, and so I bought them. And, uh, uh, 
This other one is the Mae West, which is like these here, but it's blue with the white trim on it. And I mean, like I say, mandos in red and also in the purple that I know of. Go up here, these are foreign candlesticks, the ones that were made over uh, from Mamaki. Uh, that one is called uh, Colervo, and this one's called Thieves. Uh, they both made by Ramaki, and as far as I, I think they made some of these, you know, kind of a, a light blue. Also, besides the marigold, uh, they turn up in Europe and England more than they ever do over here. I never see them over here. Very few of these I've ever seen, but I'm sure that uh, the, the emails and stuff when I was doing that, that candlestick, the rarity thing. There was, uh, I emailed a lot with uh, Thistlewoods. She took me to school on a couple of things. <laughs> she knew more than I did on some things. Well, maybe probably everything, but anyway. I know she, she knew more than I did about that stuff. Because I, I just didn't see those stuff. That was really rare to me, but uh, there are other pair out there. Uh, but I don't think they're over here. I think you have to go to Europe to find them. Ryan could have probably found something he was over there. He hadn't been in the bars or <laughs> in the airports. <laughs> These are also made by U.S. Glass. Uh, twist by Mesh. They are also made in white, marigold, and Vaseline. I was very lucky to get these. at the Mickey Rich auction. There's a guy in the back of the room. I was in the front, and the guy in the back of the room bidding against me. So the, the bid opened up. <laughs> the bid opened up, and Mickey's uh, clerk, Charlie Kabuka, he was he picked Bob up right away. He said Bob had had it, and Charlie going in the back, and he got his bid. Well, I'm in the front, so Mickey picks me up. See, and then he had an absentee bid from Greg Warhol down in Florida, because Greg emailed me after that. Said he'd bid 250. I said, Well, that's what I got him for. So after I got him, I went back to the bathroom, I went back, and Bob walked by Bob, and he says, He said something about him. And I said, Well, Bobby should have been higher. He says, I was bidding. They didn't take my bid. <laughs> they missed his bid. I was very fortunate to get those because I'm sure Bob would have been a little higher. He, Bob bought a pair of white ones at Jim Seek's auction. But I didn't bid on those, so I left before they sold that day. And I bought those reasonable, so uh, I know he wanted those also. But maybe someday I'll sell them to you what I had in them. Maybe today. Okay, now I have two from Central Glass Company the tall trumpet and the short trumpet. They are similar, very, very similar to the Northwoods. Uh, you got to really look at them. There's little differences on the, on the number of lines up in here around this and this, the height of this. And they're, they're not, they're just true subtle differences. Like they almost stole one another's mold and just changed it a little bit. But that's the only two I have uh, central. Uh, and I don't know that much how many other colors they made because I've never seen any other colors from Central. If I did, maybe I, maybe they were Northwoods and I, over the years, but anyway, that's the only two I have and uh, that's how I identify, identify those two. Well, on the end, it's called, I think, called Collins. I was talking to Ed Kramer, we think it's made by Westmoreland. It's just, it's a contemporary pair made. I had the previous favorite color is blue, so she liked it, so we have them set. They're in our little cabinet in our bedroom. Uh, up here is a Tiffany candlestick, the only one on hard glass piece like that that I own. Uh, I bought that at Jim Seeks. <coughs> he had an absentee bid of $100 on it, and I bid $105, and he sold it to me. But right here at the base, it had been dropped and broken. But they did a professional job of putting it back on there. And it's a Tiffany piece and it's nice. So I bought it. 
I thought it was cheap at 105 bucks. Uh, this is a, I'm not sure the maker of this. This is a Czechoslovakia, I think. They, there's, they made some of these that's had the black stripes. I think some have blue stripes. Uh, most of them are all marigold, they're blown. Uh, and there's some of them a little different. Uh, side uh, uh, lengths tall. They're not all the same, but they're different companies. But uh, uh, they were Europe and Europe, I believe. The one on the end, I bought at Mickey's. I had a pair of them. I had no idea. He didn't know who made them. He couldn't find them. I couldn't. I've never been able to find them. You can turn that over, and it makes a vase if you'd like. A nice, it's got little flowers on there, it's enameled, and it's a nice piece. But uh, I've never been able to identify them, so I don't know where they came from. But I would sell those for half the price they are in Edward's book. If anybody's interested, Edward's book says they're worth 500 bucks. Now, I don't no, I think it's a pair. I'll take a piece. <laughs> <laughs> the, the next ones that I have here, I like dolphin stuff. I got into that kick one time, so I got a Vaseline, an ice blue, and a marble one. These are all made by Imperial. They're marked. This one is marked MMA, which is Museum of Modern Art. But Fenton or uh, Imperial made them for uh, the Museum of Modern Art. The two in the back, white frosted and blue, Taiwan, 80s. Anyway, the blue one was pretty, and then I saw the frosted one, so I bought it. Anyway, these, this amber and this jade blue, are made by Dalzell Viking. They are old. The others are fairly new, but these are old ones. Made by Dalzell Viking. We found those in the books. Now, then I, I like Vaseline stuff, so I decided I'd buy some Vaseline candlesticks. The ones I have here, this one here is made by Cambridge. It's called the Twist Stem Slash Ribbons. This spindle with the white trim, made by Paul Story. The 653 panel pedal top, Made by Moss. That's a good, that's a newer one. And this is a full story. Uh, that, but that's those are really heavy, but that's what's who made that one. And then there was a, a seven and a half inch number three twenty two hex base made by Flint Glass Cola. They also made it's a seven inch spearhead flint glass co op. And the one in the back, right here, is a 322, no, it's a number 72 hex with round base, Cambridge. So a couple of those are newer, but the rest of the others are older. Uh, but that's, uh, I think that's everything that I have up here. I think that takes care of it. Uh, there's, I didn't count how many pairs are, but I think there's something like 110, I don't know, maybe more. But we've been collecting them for 15 years, and uh, it's something we enjoy. And uh, I kind of got carried away, according to my wife. <laughs> I know I got carried away, because sometimes when I had a pocket full of money, I didn't care what I gave her stuff. I bought a nice pair of. Uh, Chesterfields in red wrote us one time for seven hundred dollars, and we sold them at our auction at about four hundred. But I enjoyed them, and we had them for a while, and uh, it was. But that's when prices went down, and uh, but uh, we enjoyed them all. We I still I still enjoy them. We uh, we don't have them all out because we don't have the room for them. I thought about putting shelves up around the room. I get I don't the, the owner of my house doesn't. Put, put shelves up around and all that stuff up around on the walls. 
So I'm just a tenant there. <laughs> I'm just a tenant. I live there. So whatever she says goes pretty much. If I don't like it, I leave. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have. So uh, with that, we're done.